Today I want to talk to you about a test called EMG, that's electromyography. EMG is a short form of the word electromyography. Electromyography is a test which um, studies the electrical activity of the muscles. And it's like a toying test to the first one I described to you in my previous video, and that's the nerve conduction study, NCS for short. So that's like the second part of the test, which we don't always do. So usually we do the nerve conduction study first, and we decide based on what we find on the nerve conduction to whether or not we need to proceed to do the EMG or electromyography. So basically electromyography, the needle form of it, which is the one we're gonna be discussing today because we've got two forms, there's a surface EMG and then the needle EMG. So the needle electromyography or the needle EMG for short involves using a very fine, you know, electrode of this nature, almost very akin to the kind of um, needle is, that's used for um, acupuncture. So we insert this into the muscle of interest and then we study its electrical activity at rest. So there are reasons why we do this. First of all, um, you know, if there is a nerve disease, because of the fact that the nerve and the muscle function as a unit, so the nerve controls, sends signals to the muscles and leads to muscle movement. So if there's a nerve disease, usually um, it might also affect this relation, the relationship of the nerve to the muscle. So we get a complete information by putting a needle in the muscle and recording how the mu muscle is affected. And sometimes in muscle diseases too, uh, we studied the EMG to get information about the functioning of the muscles. So um, basically that gives us information, gives us a holistic picture about what's happening between the nerves and the muscles. So like I said, we don't do EMG all the time, but after the nerve conductions, if we think it's going to add more information, we, want to do, we may want to do that. Uh, one common situation when we do do EMG is after nerve injuries, we may want to see how uh, you know the extent of nerve injury and to see whether the nerve is beginning to recover or in all of those situations we may want to do an dual EMG or when we suspect um, a nerve root disease what is commonly called radiculopathy either in the neck or in the back we want to study the, the muscles to see if muscles belonging to a particular nerve root are affected uh, and that gives us informa um, information to support the suspicion of nerve root disease. So there's so many other indications. So basically that's the, uh, the framework. So the question I get asked a lot of times is, is it painful? Well, I would say when we are inserting the electrode or needle through the skin, um, you might feel some, uh, it, might, it might feel a bit tender I would say it's a bit tender or uncomfortable. We don't use the word pain. But once we're in the muscle, we we'll move the needle through the muscle very gently. We don't expect uh, too much pain. So we're going to be showing that now. And then the other question I get asked is how long it will take to you know, complete the test. That depends on the number of muscles we get to study. And that again depends on you know, the pattern of disease. So studying a single muscle might take between five to 10 minutes and then depending on, on how many muscles we want to study, that's going to affect the total amount of time we spend on the test. If you're just looking for evidence of muscle disease, for example, when we study one, two, three muscles, that might be enough, that might suffice to give us enough evidence. But if we're looking for nerve root disease, we might want to delineate muscles belonging to each of the nerve roots, C5, maybe it's 32, three muscles along C5 territory, then move to C6, C7, C8. So that might be a bit longer. So that depends. But averagely, I say within, I spend between 45 minutes to double that amount of time um, when I am studying uh, doing needle EMG. It depends actually on what I find and um, how quickly I'm able to conclude on what I'm doing. So that's the amount of time we spend during the test. So uh, I don't need to bore you for that. I'll just demonstrate what it looks like. So thank you so much, Jelfa, for volunteering to be our subject today. So, so basically we're going to be, this is the setup for Needle EMG. We've got the monitor and then we've got the panel. We've got the electrode connected to it. We've got a ground electrode connected to the skin. 
and then we'll be studying this muscle here which is called the EDC that's the extensor digitorum communis muscle so I need to find the muscle first of all if you can please raise this finger up a bit up again please down up and down and I can delineate the muscles right beneath my two fingers so that's where I'm going to be putting my electrode okay, so typically when we put a needle in it might feel a little bit of tenderness but then once it's in the muscle we wouldn't feel much um, anymore so now again I just put it through the skin quickly and boop, we we're in the muscle already and on the monitor yeah so now we're studying the muscle at rest so we don't expect to see any signal at all so usually we we'll wait for about a minute or so I'll just move the, the needle a little bit and we're not expected to see much on except to see the needle movement and now we're going to study the muscle in action so if you can now please raise the um, the middle finger up a bit and then we now begin to see some signals so this is the sort of signals that we see on the screen as the muscle becomes active and then we analyze the signals and that is it thank you for watching